shame, man, you must be out of your freaking mind if you think I am handing the World Heavyweight Championship back to you on a silver platter. Good Angle and I already gave you guys a shot to reclaim the title at day one, and guess what, you tapped out. I'm guessing that's why you want the title back on a silver platter and are not challenging me to give you another shot at the championship, because you know I will destroy anyone you put in front of me. If you want to bring your roster next week and try to steal this championship, be my guest. The whole of Monday Night Raw will be ready and waiting for you guys. They want to keep these championships on Raw just as badly as I do. Your request is denied. I'll see you guys next week. Rage, you know I also want to keep both of that championships on Raw just as badly as you do. Heck, I made my in-ring return last night to keep it here. But trust me when I say we do not need to do this this way. There is an easier way. Here's my suggestion. We give Friday Night Smackdown one last shot for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. This time I'll make Shane McMahon sign a contract that this is their last shot. And if they lose that match the World Heavyweight Championship will become a permanent Monday Night World Championship. I really do not want to do this, but after everything you've done for me the past couple of months, I will do you a solid this time. You better be right about this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown, where Shane McMahon announced a huge tournament on the beginning of the night, of which the winner will go on to the Royal Rumble to challenge Ryan Page for the World Heavyweight Championship. This will be SmackDown's final shot to bring the World Heavyweight Championship back to SmackDown Live. The main event here tonight is the final of the tournament, which will take place between John Cena and Brock Lesnar. It doesn't get any bigger than this, this might as well be the biggest match in SmackDown history. So don't go anywhere. This is where you separate the contenders from the pretenders. Lesnar unleashed. Short punch. Go behind. German. These are big power moves becoming more devastating with every attempt. Reversal after reversal proving they did their homework. An uninterrupted surge against Cena here. Cena suffering the immeasurable brute power of Lesnar. Down to Bonin and a double axe handle smash. Oh, what a counter. Crucial turnaround there because Cena was falling behind. Could be what Cena needed to ignite a rally. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. This could do it. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Far be it from me to tell Brock Lesnar how to conquer. But if there's one bad habit he has when he's in a match, it's that he has a tendency to play with his food. That's the kind of thing that can end up turning the tide against the beast. I agree, Corey. If Lesnar can keep on task and focus, he'll be unstoppable in this one. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Starting to feel the hurt here. This is where a good motor comes in handy during a tournament. Lesnar unleashed. Sure, what they're thinking. Well, that's one way to seize control of a match. Change the location to the ringside area. He's got him scouted. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. And he gets sent back into the ring. And this is just outrageous power. German. Rock clearly has the advantage here, guys. And that's Lesnar focusing on the target and nothing else. Definitely not playing with his food tonight. 
He has just completely lost his wind. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Anyone can make a big comeback. You know it's John Cena. Anybody can stop the Beast and Carden. Powerless position to be in right now. Shaken with that attack. 
When you're in a tournament situation, Cole, you tend to push yourself to your limits. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. Finds the ring to land a back elbow. Ooh, that hurt. Feet off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. the number one contender for the World Human Championship in the face wide range at the Royal Rumble. But wait a minute, what the hell is Ryan's rage doing on SmackDown? He's beating the hell out of Brock Lesnar with that few chains. Ryan Rage now busting Brock Lesnar open. It's the main world clash in little over a week at the Royal Rumble. Ryan Rage may be looking for something to block Lesnar up or to send a message to the beast, but how smart is this of Ryan Rage? I think this will only make the beast angrier and not soften up in any way. Ryan Rage will have to learn on the hard way. He tosses Brock Lesnar head first into a steel chair. Remember guys, Brock Lesnar already competed in three matches you can know. The one we just witnessed was only the final. The matches the body to qualify for the final also took place here tonight as Ryan Rage. He needs a double rotation moonsault from the top group. And he's not turning his attention to the announcer stable. But first, he could make some mass destruction. Now going for that steel steps. What does Rage have in mind? He tosses the steel steps and the block left here. Well, I don't think I've ever seen Brock Lesnar this beaten up before. Brian Wings lining him up on that announcer stable. And look at this. Now going for the road rage. What's going next? Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all on Monday Night Raw. Thank you. It's 